world's best clowns. And that's not just saying it. He actually won the, the award, well, one of the awards, in, at the Monte Carlo Circus Festival in Paris. In, sorry, south of France, in Monte Carlo, not in Paris at all. Um, yeah, and I've been a friend for him for years. We first met at Zippo Circus 2000 and I want to say seven um, and at the time when he arrived I was like oh because I really wanted a chance in the ring or what I really wanted to become a clown and on Zippo's there was always four or five different clowns different people and um, so when Henry turned up I was a bit like oh here we go here's another one um, but he's he's been a really really great friend and, and a sort of it, not inspiration because he'll get really big headed if he hears me say inspiration but he has been um i, I can see him on the screen and i think and he is <laughs> uh, he has been an inspiration because he's everything he's wanted to do is achieved and everything he's wanted to sort of become and be is done sort of thing and he always we always used to sit there smoking cigars thinking we were cool and he always used to say man one day I gonna go to Monte Carlo. I gonna blow the roof off, and I always used to think, yeah, right, whatever. And he did, um, which is pretty cool. Um, bit of news from me: um, Boris has announced that the next step on April the twelfth is going ahead, so the retail and all that stuff can can happen. Um, which is great news because that means that the May the seventeenth date should. Uh, technically be happening as well um that also means if the may the 17th date is okay that means i can go along and do my pantomime um with gareth gates with uh emma she's daisy out of peppa pig that's it i did remember in the end um and a good friend of mine charlie griffiths and all that um, and that is we start rehearsals on the 22nd of may and we run right and right through into the 5th of june um because we open on the 29th sorry and then we run right through to the 5th of june tickets are on sale now and they are selling really fast it's going to be socially distanced in may because um that's the way of the world and there's still going to be social distancing so tickets are selling very fast and they sell them in bubbles and groups so don't think you'll be sat next to people and all that it is spaced out for you um and also it's going to be sterilized like the whole theater every day every performance is going to be sterilized um i think they call it fogging not sterilized that sounds a bit extreme doesn't it but it is going to be very safe and then after that uh, we finish the pantomime on june the 5th and then on june the 12th we're going to have bippo circus spectacular um and that is already sold out the first show there's, I think there's like two or three tickets left, but because of the way the social distancing is, it always says there's one ticket left and they mean bubble or whatever. But anyway, the first show is basically sold out. The second show is selling fast now, which is great because you're in a lockdown. And I thought a load of people would be really apprehensive about booking anything in case it would get rescheduled and stuff. But it seems you, you're you trusting that we're going to be open again on May the 17th. And trust me, every circus in England is planning to go out in May every building's planning to open so trust me if you are worried that's what everyone's plans are from like the inside and then obviously in the summer i'm going to be on tour we're going to go to wales great yarmouth skegness uh camber sands down in essex and all those places guys if you're here give us some likes like this video give it do us a favor right now before we bring henry on uh give this video a share a lot of people didn't do it like me very sad um all you have to do at the bottom there's a reaction bar should be at the bottom here and there's a button that says share click uh the button you don't have to go and do another post you don't have to type you don't have to do anything it just does it automatically for you shares the video then we get more viewers it's more interactive when henry uh, comes on and things like that oh yeah and pantomime news they haven't announced it yet but we are in talks well we i keep saying we are in talks i'm in talks with um the guys at sean productions again to, to head back to liverpool and this year it's going to be cinderella and i'm going to be playing buttons not C not cinderella or an ugly sister well i could do by the way the reason i got makeup on is because i've just been filming promos for the panto i'm not just sat here in my bedroom with a green screen putting makeup on to do a video with my friend Henry. Um, but yeah, Henry Ayala, uh, those of you if, you, if you know him, drop a comment. If you don't know him, drop a comment. Ask questions, any questions that you've got, please do comment them in the comment section. Um, uh, oh, good evening, Bippo from Kai Hull, Julie West. Hi, Bippo. Uh, Luke Atwood, Love Hearts, Tom Gordon. Did James Charles do your makeup, lover? Mm, it does look like that, doesn't it? Uh, Sophie Beeson, you love your makeup, don't lie. 
I do love my makeup. I'm not lying. I do love it. Jamie Duffy, please stop making his head grow more. Jamie Duffy uh, knows Henry very well. Um, uh, yeah, Jamie Duffy. Hi, mate. Nigel Mail. Yeah, yeah. No, seriously, I've been filming promos, guys. Stop it. Corey Roberts doing your faces. Ross Shirley, you look nice, mate. Thank you. I do look nice. Share the video and stop taking the mick. Uh, Ross is here. Luke Atwood's here. Emma Glittery's here. Tom Gorman, L uh, Nigel Mayo, Sophie Beeston, Corey Roberts, Ross Shirley, Julie West. Wow. I mean, let's have a look. See how many. Vitaly Erimir. Hi. Hi, guys. This is great. It's like a little circus reunion. Um, yeah. If you've got any questions for Henry, um, drop them in the comments and then we can read them out. If you... Um, if you haven't got any questions, just watch the video and be nice, basically. Don't put anything horrible. Um, Jamie Duffy, another question for the Prince. Who started his stand innovation off in Monte Carlo? Oh, we'll ask him that. Andrew Lewis, we are all here. Well, it, don't just be here. Share the video everywhere, Andrew. Andrew Lewis is the, he's not the head. He's got a very shiny head, very lovely, shiny, like Mr. Burns. A uh, lovely little shiny mirror ball, like mirror ball slap, you know, the slappy slap. He draws hairs, uh, he draws rabbits on his head because from a distance it looks like a hair. Hey, hey! You see that you get jokes as well. Raul Nadler Garcia. Hi, buddy. I'm here. Great program. Good to see you. Ross Shirley put Circus Reunion 2021. Yeah, it's happening online. I hope no one has a drink because we all know what happens at reunions when people have drinks. Um yeah, so anyway, I met Henry. All right, come on, get him on already. Yeah, I will. I met Henry years ago, Zippo Circus. He's been a friend ever since. I absolutely love him. One of the best clowns in the world. Would you please welcome Mr. Henry Ayala? <laughs> Sorry, I, I was just put the Bible down. I was just reading my... <laughs> the Bible? I like your tiger claw. You're looking very... Um... Well, I thought if it's a circus reunion, I just thought, like, we should go old school with you the tiger part of the gang with the tiger yeah. club. Nigel yeah. Mayo, what happens at reunions? We don't know. Uh, Steve Norman, hi, Bippo. Well, Henry, you've got loads of viewers. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so how are you doing, mate? How's lockdown? Uh, well, well, how it's been? It's been crazy haven't it mm -hmm. it's been over a year now so it has been uh how can i say it's been great in a way because i have got a baby yeah so my baby boy i get to see him grow and play and so that thing has been the only good thing about the lockdown you know you've really been, to have spent time with my kids and all you've that you've been you know, flying so all great. over the world haven't you you've been going around to the, i've seen pictures of you in the ukraine in in japan what, what we do where have you been well, that, that that I was just going to Ukraine back and forward all the time. Oh. Japan was just my face going to Japan. They just posters. They didn't let me in. They were like, "No, surely no, 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 can't come in. Go, go, go away." I, d so, I don't yeah. know whether you're allowed to do that <laughs> in 2021. Yes, yes. There we go. Tom Duffy, why did he only get the silver in Monte Carlo? Was he not good enough? Tom Duffy. Well, no, no. You know, the, the funny thing about that, um, the, also the Duffy, I think they got the uh, bronze or silver <laughs> but on the fake one, the junior one. You know, that, that one they do, you know, for, for children. Yeah, like. <laughs> I, I don't think... know. It's calm down. Don't. Yeah, this, this is like. Is... No, no one knows about the junior one. I don't know if people even go that for. It's like. <laughs> Apparently they went. That's what they say. <laughs> the, this this has turned into a reunion. There's, there's going to be bottles flying in a minute and things like that. But um, uh, Andrew Lewis says, "Congratulations on the birth of your baby, Henry. Who inspires you for comedy?" Right before you answer the question, give us a little story because you've not always been a clown. Um, you've, you, a lot of people know you basically as uh, Henry the Prince of Clowns. Um, but what? How did you start? Get go right back to rewind right back to the start. How did you get into the business? Well, well, let's let's, let's start. Well, I've been in the business literally since I was a kid because I was born. Like, you know, I was born in the circus, like my mom, my father, my granddad. We are like I'm the fifth generation of it. So basically all my family is all from circus, literally everyone. And um so 
you know, it's become like everybody else, you know, like you, you're born into it. Um, as soon as you, you realize you are in uh, in the stage or in the green or, you know, so you, you cannot really say that um, I started in what I, I always being involved with it. So, so what so what, was the channel? Yeah, basically since, 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 a, since a little kid. I think so what, obviously, what, what, um, what did your family do in the circus? Like what? When you were born, what were they doing? Like, what, what, what was they were going push, push, <laughs> <laughs> and then a Monte Carlo award came out, <laughs> and then you came out trying to grab it like this. Come on, man! <laughs> well, they being also like obviously my my. Let's start from my granddad. My grand granddad, he was also already in circus. He was started as a, as a worker in the circus, and then he opened his own show later on on the years. And then my granddad, obviously, he was kind of born into the circus, and he also continued with the with the circus as well. And and then we had all his kids, and they they were artists as well first, and then they opened yeah. their own little show, and then they just always started from there really. And then my mom, she even opened her own little circus as well. And um, we was uh, working with them whilst I was a kid. And then after that, I left. My dad, already, because my mom, my dad split up many years ago. My dad yeah. came to Europe. Went to Ireland, actually. He was in Ireland as well. Yes. For the Irish fans there. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then he, then we was uh, then he. I came back. I came to to Europe when I was around eight. When I was around eight years old, and then I've been here in Europe around since I was eight. So, so yeah. Then this is how my story became. You know, working every, everywhere here in Europe, like in England, Ireland. Obviously, well, we spent a lot. Of, you a lot started of as as um, your family when I well, when I first met you. You were all high wire artists, weren't you? Did that's. Yeah. So well, your dad and your brother and all that. I remember seeing pictures of you on Circus Vegas, was it, when you were doing the high wire as a family? I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. can't remember. I saw that years ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we obviously then, when my dad was, when he came, he, my dad was also a clown before. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he did the clowning as well. But then when he actually, he actually came first time to, to Europe to work, he came on working Krone as oh, a wow. clown. Together with Chicharrin. I don't know if you have met Chicharrin. I don't think so. Well, it's, it's another Colombian uh, clown, famous at the time, and then he brought my dad over, and they were so he started his career actually in Crone. Oh wow! And then after from there he finished. Um, there was a job opportunity to go to England to work in Alton Towers, I believe it was. Oh right, with yeah, yeah. Mr. Hassani, with Mr. Hassani. And there was at the time there was uh, doing the wire this Erne Castro, was yeah, another yeah, yeah. Colombian guy, and then he hired my dad, and they both went to do the, the wire act because my dad did the wire before, so he kind of like knew, and and then he went and they started from there. So after a couple of years, my dad made his own troupe, and he started working since then doing his high wire act for the last I don't know forty years here in Europe. It's very and funny, that. very funny mm -hmm. man, your dad. Well, he is, he is a funny guy, you know. I remember, I remember on Zippo's years ago, I was selling spinning plates before the show. I like just stood there on doors. Martin comes up to me, Martin Burton, rah, rah, talking to me about something. And your dad comes up. Sorry, sorry, Martin. Miss, sorry, Martin. People, uh, I need you to come see my uncle. My uncle. My uncle is here. My uncle is here. And I'm spinning a plate. And I look at Martin. And Martin's like, rah, rah, he's selling. And then uh, your dad was like, no, 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 no. It's very important. You need people need to come see my anchor. Uh, okay, two minutes, Martin. So I, I followed your dad. Out. He had his blue, you know, the Zippo's blue jacket, Jack. and his uh, wooden clogs, you know, because he yeah. used to be flying trapeze. <laughs> <laughs> so come, come, see my ankle, see my ankle. So I put the spinning plates in the foyer tent. And I was like, geez, like, what's wrong with him? I don't, I don't know who his uncle is. Like, well, I don't got to, got to the ring doors thinking he was going to be in the tent. No, 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 come, come, come. Outside of the tent, walking for ages because we're in uh, barns. So where all the caravans were really far. I was like, Jesus, what's going on? Go in your caravan. 
and I'm like, there's nobody here. Come, come, come to the bedroom. And he lifts up his trouser leg. Look, my ankle. Uh, and, me. and I I was a kid, so I had to be respectful, but I was like, I want if I <laughs> I just wanted to punch him in the head. My ankle. And then as I was leaving his caravan, he went, You wanna see my knees? I was like, No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Henry, Jesus Christ. No. Yeah, he's very, 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 very funny man. Um, so when you, were, when you were doing the high wire, what inspired you to do clowning? Like, what was the first, what was your first show? Where did you do the first show as Henry Prince of Clowns, not just the high wire? Where did you first do your clowning show? Well, I be, before, obviously, when I was a kid down there in, um, in Venezuela, um, they used to dress everybody up like clowns. I was already doing the wire by then, but you know, it's like they used to have like 20 clowns. Basically, they used to dress up everybody, and you know, there used to be a gag with lots of clowns and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, that was when I first started kind of you know putting the makeup on and stuff like that, but nothing. But then, when I was around 14, around 14, when I was in Florilegio in Italy, there was a character going around this uh, with the um, like a Chester style, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then I started doing that, just bits of the shot of a character. I had a, like a white face, no? Like a white yeah, face. Yeah, white face, like a Joker style, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's how it was. But then originally I started doing the clown for the first time. It was just, I was in, with, with Tony Hawkins and they did a summer show. And um, I remember the Rebelinos was there. Um, I think Karchi. Yeah, uh, yeah. Alton. Wow, like, oh, uh, it was a lot, of, a lot of people there. But anyway, at the time, the clown who was meant to come, he didn't come. Oh. And obviously, there was the Rebellinos, but they were musical clowns. You know, before yeah. the musical clown, they only finish the show. Yeah. You know, they just do the musical entry. So the show was good, but just the, there was so many, obviously, so many holes during the show, so many gaps in that. So I told Tony, listen, Tony, I can see you have a lot of. If you want, I can do some little gags. You know, I've done a little bit. He was like, oh, perfect. If you can do it, just do something. I said, yeah, look, I have a go at it. But, you know, so I did it for, I think, it was a month, a month, a month and a half. We did this yeah, yeah. Come drop or something. I don't remember the name of the bloody town was. But anyway, that's how I started there. I think Pinter Sander was there as well with the, with the comedy car and all that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I started there. And then... That was that's it. I just the first time I did it. So left to the next season, all that, doing the wire, continue doing the wire always with my dad and my brother. Yeah. And then about uh, 2002, uh, Tony phones my dad up and he wanted to contract us back to England to come back and do, uh, I think was at the time was Netherlands Circus, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Fiesta. I think that thing was Netherlands. And then he uh, told us like, um, oh yeah, I want you to come to the wire. And he also want you, Henry, to come and do the clown. So my dad tells me, oh, uh, he wants to do the clown. I, I even forgot about it, to be honest. I was like, clown? I he go like, yeah. He say, well, okay, I'll do it. Uh, all right, let's I say, I say, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then when I went for the season, that's how, that's how literally how it started. Uh, thanks to Tony that he wanted me, and he contracted me for 2002. And then since then, till now, well, till last year, I haven't stopped working with the clown, you know, always done it, you know. Yeah, so yeah. that was that's how I started really my 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 clown um my clown to career really. Tony's was quite a big show to start doing clowning as well. Was, like, and, and the year after they did uh, Billy Smart when with Ronnie Smart actually went into it and I yeah, and I, yeah. you know it was a big big thing for me you know when I went with Ronnie Smart I was really really pleased and luckily it worked out and it was good and it's that kind of thing that you started and you just just like they just kick you into to start and they. Then and that's it. Thought, I'll do it for a couple of months and that's it. But then it actually, what, 20 years later, I think, yeah. or something like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. But sometimes, sometimes that's the best way just to, like, if you're worried about, not worried, but if you're going to do something to just be thrown into it because then you're like, wow. like, And then, mm -hmm. like you say, 20 years later, you still do, you know, it's – it's crazy how the whole business works. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Duffy says, so did you copy your dad? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say I copied my dad, but my dad is a big inspiration into me as well. He always keep me away to copying people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Jamie, Jamie also. 
this is this is just basically a conversation between you and Jamie now. Jamie then oh. just put or oh, Lorenzo. Uh, I don't I don't know I don't know what he's talk, <laughs> talking about. Oh. We all we all know the story about me and Lorenzo, so let's. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, viewers, if you don't know who Lorenzo is, is another clown. He's quite good as well, isn't he? I don't know. Is he? I don't, I've not seen him. He's a comic. Let's not get him involved because then, like a book. He's a, no, a comic. A comic book. Oh, a comic. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, Emma Glittery says, "How did you use? How did you decide on your clown image? It's really awesome and very unique." Yeah, for people. I copy that... people. <laughs> <laughs> I copy people. Uh, Tom Duffy put, "No, he's not good." Oh, I think he's talking. Don't about worry, that. Tom. Don't worry. Let's not talk about our sexual things here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for those of you who haven't seen Henry Clown, it is quite a unique clown. You don't even look like a South American clown. You, you know, South American clowns have uh, a very... Are you trying to wear a sombrero and we're all dark? No, well, <laughs> no, but... <laughs> yeah, yes, get that out quick. Um, but you do look like the swirls um and the side but like how did you come up with that what what were you thinking were you drunk i'm joking how did you i i fell from the bathroom and i banged my head and this appear in the air and your sideburns grew like this <laughs> oh it's meant to be no, how yeah, did, you, did you did you get inspired? Did you see that on somebody? Because I know with my makeup, I saw bits and pieces and took bits and pieces. Like you, I did. I copied your bloody makeup. I don't care. Um, but <laughs> but who did did you see yeah. somebody, or you, did you just experiment and do it? To be honest, I was just experimenting with my makeup. The curly things here it started more because I used to have sideburns, and I yeah, remember yeah. little sideburns I used to have. And when yeah, I started, and you used to. Mom, Used to have sideburns and uh, glasses. <laughs> hey, man. That's how I remember Tweedy said to me, Oh, next year you're working with Henry. And I was like, Who's that? Oh, he's coming tomorrow to talk to Martin. And you turned up to the show like this with your collar up. And you like, I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to hate this guy. <laughs> but, but yeah. I, I used to spend all night in, here in the caravan with me. I know, I know. I mean, I've got some photos, but I think it's going to, I think it's going to crash the thing if I share them. Oh, I got already... some pictures of you here. I don't know if I'm allowed to show them, but I have got a couple of you. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> please don't. I've just had a baby. Don't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, no, the way the makeup come, come along was, like I said, literally was just playing with the, with the makeup a little bit and um, trying to hide my, my, my sideburns. I didn't want to cut it, shave all off, you know. So yeah, yeah. And then slowly, slowly, basically, it, it took a couple of years to arrive to where I was. In my head, I, I kind of, I didn't want to be the same like every other clown, you know, like yeah, be yeah, the yeah. same. You know, it's easy just to go and copy the, the makeup, and you know. Yeah. So I just started playing around with it, and a couple of years, and then kind of come out like that, and then even with the hair. If you remember, yeah. I have to, I have to go and tell you something about the hair as well with the spikes. Before I used to have the spikes like that, yeah? You remember, because actually, thanks to you, remember when I did my spikes, I used to do the same color of my costume, like blue, red, yeah. Yeah. and that time. Purple. And I remember that time I put it white just to play about when I was doing face painting. Yeah. And you came and told me, you should leave it white because it looks, you can see from far away, man. This really looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from then, I start wearing it with the little white bits of it. So, so thanks to people. People the great actually inspire me to do my spikes. So do I, I get, do I get commission or? Well, I, I don't get, I don't get to sue you because you use my makeup, but that's all right. <laughs> I only do two, two. I don't, I don't have sideburns for God's sake. And we do look a little bit different. I mean, just a tiny bit. Well, I got a picture somewhere here that actually, I mean, somewhere here I got, I was looking like crazy. 
I the think we can up. dress up the same. Oh, like I this? Yeah, okay. that's a cool one. That's a cool one. But there was one that we actually... Wait. Uh, yeah, that's a cool one. You can see that you can actually see there. I haven't got the white spikes on. They were like, oh, there that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> that is the one. That was at the end of the season, I think. No, that's how you used to go shopping and stuff. You used to dress <laughs> up like that. <laughs> yeah, I was that obsessed that I used to dress up as Henry when we. You, you remember when you used to go to get the sunbeds and try to make yourself more dark? <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, like, yes, that's that's the one. Yes. They are they are the ones. But the thing is, when you came to Zippo's, it, it it felt so strange because you were one character. I didn't know what my character was yet. And then we had little Lou. Do you remember little Lou? Yeah, I remember. Little yeah. Lou, yeah, character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Martin just put all of us together. Yeah. And then I think randomly it was a cowboy show. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Nothing to do with my character, nothing to do with the whole thing. We're doing Wild Wild West. I was like, okay. Yeah. Oh, great. And then he had a troop of Mongolians that he tried to say were Red Indians. And yeah, that, but yeah. Imagine, imagine trying to do that now. That, <laughs> that, wouldn't, that wouldn't happen, you know. Um, and he I remember. Yeah, the Kenya boys as well. Yeah. Yeah, feeling hot, hot, hot. We had uh, Helena Foltini, now Kajikova, or whatever her name is, yes. and her mum and dad, Indra. I can't remember who else knife, now. Knife throwing, knife throwing act. That's it. That's it. Um, glad you're in my famous family. Who's. Re oh, sorry. Uh, Susan Nel Nielsen from Switzerland, I think she's from Switzerland, says you are unique and you. you you make a lot of people laugh. Oh, you do. You are, very much. you are quite funny. But anyway, going back to the Zippos thing, I remember when you first arrived and Martin was like, yes, Henry's coming. Little Lou, you, it's going to be like a party. I was like, really? Like, what? what how's it going to, you know, like, how's this going to work? And then you did your own stuff and me and little Lou had to do, like, a week before a week before the start of the season, he was like, Yes, you have to do something as a cowboy. It's like, what? You know, and I was doing that that gag where I shoot a balloon or something, and it was terrible. It was awful. Well, yeah. Worst gag. No. <laughs> I used to like the best thing, but that's the way to do it, Daddy. That was pitching a rubber, so she. Yeah. That's yeah. The way to do that's the way but i, I don't <laughs> but know yeah, yeah. but but remember we did a gag together that was i thought it makes sense we build the cowboy gag yeah. then norman got involved nope dude. and we worked two days <laughs> scrap it okay i'm out i'm not doing it i was like okay i'm i'm, I'm out of it i i remember uh <laughs> uncle norman when you did the Uncle Norman Barrett, for everybody that doesn't know, is like world's greatest ringmaster legend. We love him. Um, but he is quite funny to work with. He, he, uh, Henry and the family used to do the high wire. And as they were walking up, it used to be really slow, pan pipe music. <laughs> so they used to be walking up like this. And then they'd get to the top and then, and then they'd get them clapping. Because we work with Uncle Norman, Uncle Norman loves clapping all the time. Do you remember? Yeah. And I remember one oh, day, <laughs> I remember one day, Los Ayalas, do, 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 and he's getting everyone clapping like this. <laughs> and you, you, you came out and you said to me, man, he's doing my head in because when we get to the top and we try and get the audience to clap, they don't clap. <laughs> and I was like, all right. He it's said, no, no, man. And, and you were there going, man, I'm, I'm really getting stressed. I'm really getting stressed. So anyway, the day after, next day, you'd forgotten about it. He got Los Ayalas. <laughs> and he's walking around the ring. And I see your face you used to look at me over the curtain and be like, you know, the next show, all, all the shows in between the shows. Man, I need to say something, but I know he's – gonna be with martin and martin's gonna shout da, 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 da. 
So anyway, you said something, and Norman said, "No, no, it's good. It make the audience love it." And I remember you going, "No, but please, because when we're walking, and then when we get to the top, boom, everybody claps." And, no, no, all right, all right. He said, "Okay, I won't do it." And then Los Ayales, do 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 do. And I remember you when you got to the top, you got your sock for the powder, and you <laughs> threw it. I hear it didn't hit him. You know, it didn't hit him. It didn't. Hit him. But it landed next to him, and I remember I nearly passed out laughing because you were that angry. I could see you walking up the the wire like this, and then you got. To the <laughs> It got to the top, and then you just threw the powder, and then you didn't have the powder for the rest of the year. <laughs> and then from that moment, he didn't clap the whole season. <laughs> no. I didn't the announcement anymore after that. <laughs> Here he is, Henry. And that's it. That was it. <laughs> yeah, let's not clap for him now. <laughs> no, but it was a no, good was season. Fantastic. I enjoyed it. And to be honest, sorry, carry on. No, I said it was a great season, though, with Norman and that. I mean, I, he, he was really good at the end of the day, you know, I, like, obviously, working together with him. And the finale, we used to do together with him. We used yeah. to really enjoy that as well, doing the little dance with it and all that, you know. Was, yeah, yeah. Tom Duffy said, I think I worked with Henry on Circus Berlin this summer. Um, <laughs> were you in Germany this summer? <laughs> ah, no, sorry. I, I was I was confused with the Navas. That's the Duffy. The oh. Navas is the, is the other. They want the proper ones, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the Duffies. We worked together at Halloween. We had a lot of fun because we know we know the same people and stuff. I don't know. I Tom or Jamie, if you could comment how many pieces of wood we had to put down. I can't remember. I think it was forty five thousand. But just comment, Jamie. <laughs> is ridiculous i had a, a fitbit you know that counts your steps and at the end of the day it just went like that i, I was like you know it, man i still can't feel my feet but anyway going back to to not the duffies basically um <laughs> zippos was a good season and i've got a lot to thank you for and i probably have never done it because we're i'm always too proud and too cool but I remember we used to sit and eat almond fingers all day long. So I'm not thanking you for that because look at the size of me now compared to those photos. I mean, I mean, look, like I was so skinny, you know, unbelievable. It's okay, uh, people. You we can you can hear me, can you? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> right. For those for those who don't <laughs> for those who don't know, um <laughs> me and Henry haven't met each other for, well, no, sorry. We have met we just, Jesus, we're really good friends. First, first time we're seeing each other. <laughs> <laughs> but when uh for years we hadn't seen each other and Henry actually hadn't seen me be a clown at all yeah. apart from zippos so i get a random text message man i'm coming tomorrow i'm gonna stay i'm gonna and i was like oh we're on a place in john lawson's john lawson circus they move every three days so you got your monday tuesday wednesday days which are rubbish they're just fillers and then you have your friday saturday sunday and you were coming on a tuesday i was like geez why is he doing this there's gonna be 10 people in so i was nervous and then you're like i'm gonna stay man i'm gonna stay and I was like, oh, God, next day's pull down and we're moving. Like, oh, my God, I've got to put my pullouts in on the wagon. It was all stressful anyway. And then I remember you walked across the field uh, like that. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, I was wearing my hat as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember you were like, dude, what, what have you done with Bippo? Have you, eat <laughs> have you eaten him? And straight away, that put me on a... Oh, oh, <laughs> and then you sat. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> and then you sat and watched the show, and there was like four people in. Oh my god! No, I didn't tell you, man. I I thought you did a great job. I I saw you like uh, from what I saw before when we was together in 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 and that, and then when I saw you there, like you literally did the whole show, you know. 
and I did say like it was really good. I really enjoyed it, and I keep telling everyone like really good. Uh, your timing was good. The jokes, people were laughing. You know, so to yeah, be honest, adjustment. to be honest, you're kind of I don't want to make you very big headed, but you're kind of the reason I left Zippos. And to be honest, don't say that. And Martin gonna call me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in a good way. Like I think at the time I was stuck in a rut. I was bored with it. I was a teenager, so I wasn't really interested in anything apart from Helena. Um. Anyway, but we we <laughs> back then. Um. I've got a baby who I love. Um. Any... <laughs> but I think at the time I remember I used to sit in your caravan saying, "Dude, I don't want to do this." This is, re... and you used to be, "Oh man, shut up! You know you can make big money. Shut up, shut up." Almond uh, fingers. Yeah, yeah, literally <laughs> almond fingers. And I remember you, uh, you were like, what are you do one day you were like, what are you doing for Christmas? And I was like, oh, probably with Martin, you know, doing no gags, not getting a chance. Uh, and you were like, man, I get a good job, hippodrome circus, big money. And I was like, no, don't what, be. What, why do I sound Chinese when you, when, when you make my, my voice? Do I sound like that? The only voice I can do for everybody. <laughs> Apart from Martin, that's the only... <laughs> And all I do is I say man with a G on the end. Hey, man. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> I always sound Chinese with your... Okay, keep coming. But you were like, oh, I can get you big money, Hippodrome Circus. And I remember going back to my caravan because I used to live with my mum and dad and saying to mum and dad, oh, Henry said he can get me a job with the Hippodrome. He's not going to do it. It's stupid. Like, I'm not even... And the next day, you say, man, switch your phone on. Get out of bed. You at my door like that. Get out of bed. Da -da. And my mum was like, come on, get out of bed, stupid. Henry's here. Like, like, what's, like what's going on? And and you, uh, so I switched my phone on and then Christine J rang. And you were looking at me like this, like, like this. And I was like, hello. Hello, it's Christine J from the Hippodrome. Henry's told me you're fantastic. Oh, 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 like this. And I was like, oh, I am. And she was like, how much money do you want? And you were going like doing all these numbers like this <laughs> and i think i was on like 50 pound and i got to touch martin's belly a week on <laughs> zippo at the time because i was a teenager and then you the contract came and i ended up doing the christmas at the hippodrome and i was i was like what and they all all of that because they said henry said you're good and funny and at the yeah. time at the time i really wasn't <laughs> You did a good job, aren't you? You were you you had it on you. Just you didn't let you do your stuff what you wanted to, but you can see that you just needed that opportunity, you know. Mm. Mr. Raul Nadler said hi. Mr. N says hi, buddy, to Henry and Bippo. Hi, Raul. Mr. Raulito Jimenez. Oh, hang on. Jamie Duffy said two hundred and ninety sheets of wood that we had to put there. Oh, I thought <laughs> No. <laughs> so yeah so it was basically and then after the hippodrome i moved on and i've not really i, I was always the solo clown on all the shows uh that i was on and it was basically thanks to you and you changed my makeup as well remember that day you're like come on man we do your makeup and you tried to put mascara on and the teenage version of me was like no nah, no nah, i'm not putting mascara <laughs> stupid stupid look at you then, now wearing it <laughs> right now <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah but remember, I you, let's find you a new style let's find you this let's change you that you know it was yeah. good man it was good so after zippos what happened where did you go do you, you've been around the world but i think after i think zippos, one of, one of the main yeah. things you did after zippos was you went to tiani which was incredible it was yeah that was good time. that was a good time that was good it's six years there, so it was really great. Really enjoyed it. it was an amazing show to work for, you know, really like um, the way they kept the artists, the whole scenario of it and the whole uh, one, one, one off. I think uh, I have never seen something better than that. And I think I will not see something better than that, to be honest. Wow. Uh, for, so... those, for those who don't know about Tiani, uh, it's, it, is it still going? Still going well, obviously not now, but yeah, it's still going. But it's it's one of the biggest shows, you know, that toured in America. Mm. 
And it, like, you did, the, did you do the Brazil one or Mexico? Which one did you? I, I arrived in Venezuela. That was kind of great for me because the first time I went back to actually to Venezuela to, to work, I went back with Tiani. And that was like, you know, for the family, it was a big thing, you know, because, you know, for one thing I, I never thought I would be working in, in Venezuela in a, in a show, you know, in Latin America. And then when I went back to Venezuela, we started in the capital. We did six months there. And it wow. was something amazing was i never seen a show do so many sold out shows for six months in one place yeah, like, yeah. Uh, packed every day was was something out of this world and they really did it, the yeah and it's different to shows like in england it, there's like a stage and it's a bit more like a theater there's magic it illusion like, acts yeah it's like a, it's like a, they call it music halls style, you know, the music hall style. So it's like, yeah, they have got magic and all the dancers. They, they had at the time they had twenty three dancers at the time, yeah. and all the all the other the acrobats and uh, all, all the acts and the magic illusion, and it was great. You stay in every city a minimum of two months. That was like a a fast season was two months. That's crazy. We're all in hotels and you know one show per night and. And it was just great. It was just great. It was um, uh, an amazing experience. I had so much of a great time there, really, to be honest. Is it, is it, is it still it. Is it still the same now, like the same size, the same format? Yeah, it's still the same. It's still the same. Um, it's still the same, the same style of it, you know. But uh, they wanted to make a new show. I don't know. There were, there were plans to do a brand new show for, well, this year they were going to do a brand new show. Like they wanted to change everything, you know. But after last year, where everything happened, everything got kind of like put on hold, and yeah, you know. Yeah. But they wanted to do like because they wanted taking it. They were taking it back from Brazil back to Mexico. Yeah. And it was like 15 years the last time they were in Mexico, so they wanted to make it like like a, a massive, big, yeah, big thing on it. And you know, shame. Yeah. yeah shame yeah. because uh, oh, maybe they'll do it next year or the year after. Who knows? You know. Where would you say? Where would you say is your favorite? place you've worked ever uh, it, it can be for That's various there was a strip club once i worked that was <laughs> in london i remember it <laughs> kingston we went together you took your top off i'm joking carry on <laughs> i don't know I'm, to be honest I'm, i i i would say tiani to be honest i mean one of the most favorite places i have been you know especially as a tour yeah. not just you can go and work a place for for a week or two weeks on you know or two days so it's great amazing yeah. but yeah, because yeah. i did six years of it there and it was just amazing every year was more more better and better and better so yeah. i could say that one of my best places i ever worked uh, was was tiani i think what do you mm -hmm. what do you prefer and be honest clowning blonde. or high wire <laughs> you said blondes your wife's brunette man calm well, down well she's not She's dyes her hair. <laughs> get the book out. Get the book out. Get the. <laughs> what do you prefer, high wire or clowning? Um, obviously, with the clowning, you know how it is. You have the power of, of the show. Basically, you like, you know, you like have so much power into it. You enjoy it so much, and it's it's great. You know. Yeah. Um, with the with the high wire, obviously you get out the part, the trill, you know, like the adrenaline rush, you know, yeah, like. Yeah. You know. But to be honest, uh, I think the clown, and even now that I start doing the clown with the wire, I did, or well, I only did it in Monaco, and that basically was cool to do the two in one, you know. Yeah, so yeah. That was, was pretty cool, you know. That, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't want to do it at the beginning, to be honest. I, that was not my plan. It was changed the last second to do it like that. Yeah, it was. There was not. There was never like a conversation about it. Like uh, you're gonna do the clown and then do the wire. And then the last minute kind of thing was like, um, no, I actually did it like that because in Europa Park, when we start, because there is one hour show. Yeah, yeah. And we finished the the, the show with the wire. There was no time for me to get changed at all. Ah, uh, so you had to. So so the guy said, the director said, no, but you just do it like the clown because it makes sense, you know? So I started doing it like the clown there. Yeah, yeah. And then Mr. Peels came came to see the show like uh, two weeks after. Yeah. He came to, 
because he was checking me all the time. He was flying always to come and he even came to England to see me work about the spaghetti, yeah. you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There was a thing about he wanted not to use the real spaghetti, he wanted to use like some fake spaghetti, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was the whole thing anyway. So he saw it and he was like, Oh, perfect. And you do the wire like the clown. Then I was like, No, I'm just doing it here. So, no, 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 it's perfect. Do it like that. Brilliant. So the last second, the last couple of weeks before I actually, you know, when you already, I was already concentrating. I'm gonna do it like this, like that. And then he said, "No, leave it like that." And I was just like, uh, "Okay." Would you would you do it again as a clown if you did? To, like, if you got your troop back together, would you do it? Would you do it as a clown again, or would you like it separate again? No, I think I do it again as the clown because I tell you why as well. I don't have to take my makeup off. I did it for so many years. I know, and then you used to put the glasses on in the finale. Yeah. 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 So it was just like for that, it's only a good thing, you know. You don't have to, I don't have to put my makeup two, three times during the shows, you know. So that's the only reason. To be honest, it's okay. What Tom is saying, I can't see what Tom and Duff is. They must be now <laughs> saying things. Come on. So Ivo Ivanov, I think we worked with him, the Bulgarian guy. He said, big hello from me and Nikolai. Really enjoying listening to all the stories. Uh, some I've heard, some we haven't. You're both great artists, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe. Good see to you, see man. you, man. Good yeah, to see you, man. Good. My dad's watching. Uh -huh. There he is. Olympia, hi, guys. Hello. Olympia, Nigel Mail, we've got all sorts of people. Andrew Lewis, Nigel Mail, Joel Jones, hi guys from Bi uh, Guys and Bippo. Uh, Tom Duffy actually has commented saying, I think Danger High Wire is better. <laughs> well, of course it is better. You know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scott Bladen said, Bips, would you learn the High Wire too? No, definitely not. I, I think I went on once and it. <laughs> It'd end up a slack wire in the. <laughs> but it, it did take you the wire once in, in the low wire. I, I was definitely just trying to put you on the high wire. Room. It was well, terrifying. For sure in the low wire, you had a go. It's terrifying. I remember, remember on Sippos. Go on. When I did the Guinness thing, remember in Brighton? Yeah, yeah. The Guinness World Record thing. When I was oh, yeah, 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 with the skipping. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. On, the, on the highway, on the chair. No. In Brighton. I can't remember. Brighton. I can't remember. I was I was sixteen. I was <laughs> I probably wasn't sleeping and stuff. I remember you no, walked on the outside in between the king poles. That was quite cool. Yeah, that's that's the one there in Brighton. We did that. It was a windy day. Mm. And Martin was like, "You've got to still do it, Henry. You have to." Yeah. <laughs> Zippos was so it's fun. Oh man, it was so fun. I remember it. All the stories that we probably can't tell now, but it was a fun year. I remember I remember thinking, like I told you at the start of the season, when you came on the ground, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be terrible this season because you're going to do whatever you want and my clowning is going to be pushed to the side, which, to be honest, it was. But me and you, like, just sitting in your caravan and the stories. And I, like I said before, we used to sit on your recliners with some cigars and... I remember you always used to. I never liked them off. We just sit with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you always used to, you know, man. One day, and you always used to talk about owning your own show. Hey, there you go. There's the next question. Would you ever own your own show? You always used to say you were going to. I got one. Actually, I'm gonna have to show you here. I bought the tent already. I didn't want it to tell you before, but I don't know how to flick the camera. But yeah, okay. I, I was gonna take a picture of it. That uh, anyway, I don't know. Somewhere here, I had the uh, new tent arrived from Canobio. Canobio with Ancheski and uh, Scuola Teloni did the flags with me. Yeah, yeah. and you're going to have some Brian Austin seating. Gonna... Already, uh, all in aluminium. It's all yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, for the workers. For no, seriously, yeah. would you ever? Would you ever think about owning your own show? Or would you ever do? Or do you think it's just the headache now if you did your own show? Oh. But if you, no, you know, the thing is when you do your own show as an artist, then you don't want, or you do the circus good, or you do the art, the artist good. Yeah. A sample, look at the office. They don't do neither, neither of them. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. No. <laughs> 
So uh, no, I, mean, I, I love to. I love to. I, I, I had plans already before to do something. I have done some kind of uh, show before. Didn't go down very well uh, financially. Oh wow! Yeah, hundred grand later, you realize like, oh shit, I should have bought myself something else. <laughs> Oops, there's the yeah. house on. Uh, yeah, yeah literally like that. Yeah. So, but anyway, so yeah, the plans one day, yeah, obviously, like, you know, we all want to do this thing about opening. I wouldn't open a circus, maybe more like a smaller, you know, dinner show style or theater yeah, show, yeah. you know. Like Make a speaker or something. You know, something smaller, you know, you, you do theater, it's, it's a lot easier with the, uh, don't have to buy all these trucks and this yeah. you know it just makes it easier as you There's know a yourself lot, a lot of rules and regulations and all that stuff as well nowadays if you um if someone came up to you right now and said right tomorrow you're not being henry prince of clowns you're not doing the high wire you're not involved in circus what would you do and don't <laughs> well that's someone what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happening I've now i've been doing for one year and one year and two months already <laughs> no, but if you had to change your life, like what would you do? If if you weren't doing this, what would you do? What would you be? Well, I like stripping. <laughs> <laughs> I always said I should be a stripper. Just you'd, you know, you'd look good, like a little police hat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you look like one of those uh, American cops. You know, like when they come stop you, like the one that eats the donuts mm -hmm. in the car. You mean? <laughs> No. Like the policeman no. from The Simpsons. No. Like, I had to shave no. today. I looked terrible. Jeez Christ. No, but what would you do? Seriously, come on. Uh, what would I do? To be honest, I, I had a whole year to think about that, but uh, I always have the hope to go back to what I'm doing. Um, I don't know, man. I still, I still, even, even through this pandemic and all that, going through, like, obviously we had a lot of time to think of like okay it's not we're not working or what we're doing you know uh man i still don't know yeah it's tricky it I is mean, tricky I could, I, could, I could say to you like oh yeah i'll i'll, I'll be a, a truck driver yeah that's why everyone in the circle i think 90 percent of people talk, oh yes well i go i have a good driving license i'll <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll i'll just drive that's you know? half that 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 now is normally what you say first in England before you say. So if you send a DVD, uh, your video before the act, it says <laughs> HGV driving, and then that goes, and then the acts. So they go okay, and sometimes and then extra, extra, the extra, act, extra foot juggling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so something yeah i know it's tricky it's tricky so who who inspires you the most like who's your favorite uh let's not do the inspiring one because i don't like that because it's so i don't know who's your favorite all-time clown or comic or person that you've ever worked uh, uh, to be honest not clown or comic it could be anybody like a high wire or anybody who who's your inspiration well, for for well, the comedy, obviously, I always liked Chaplin. You know that as well. You know, I was I always liked him, and and you know, I, I as a kid just watching his stuff, I always made me laugh. You know, all of that. So I always thought that. Um, but luckily, I never kind of copy him or like uh, did a uh, you know like some people would think, oh, I'll do Chaplin now, you know, because I like Chaplin, because yeah. we'll be crap at it. But I just like I like his. He really made me laugh. So I just thought this. Imp Simple things that he used to do, like really make me laugh. Like, you know, so mm. I think Chaplin, I think um, the new, 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 as a clowns, clowns, uh, where well, there was Corrado, the Italian clown, he always kind of, I kind of always, because he also, he looked a lot like Chaplin. So maybe that's yeah. why I like it as well. Yeah, but yeah. I wouldn't say from clowns, I was never like, oh, look at the, this clown, let's, 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 you know, I was kind of like, all movies and things like that, you know, that can yeah, inspire yeah. me. Would you ever yeah. would you ever think about changing your character? Or have you ever thought about changing your character? Have you ever wondered, oh, maybe I could try this? Or or have you ever done it? Like, have you ever gone to a show and gone, actually, I'm not going to do my usual character. I'm going to yeah. change it. Like, I don't know. And then, now that I had a lot of time to think of as well, you know, like, you know, I, I have actually 
thought already like how to change my character and obviously because i i have, what i've done with my character at this time i'm happy of, as the career has done you know yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. you know it, it's done it's done good and but i have think like changing my character maybe to do other stuff you know yeah yeah, yeah. But I have more, kind of, more yeah, like, to, not, not like a clown like you can do like more dinner shows or you can do more you know I think that is, that will be kind of um I have got something in my mind and some ideas and all that so yeah where would you um where would you see yourself in 10 years time like where do you where Duffy. do you want <laughs> Duffy's <laughs> actually Tom's just commented does Henry do build up and fall down oh then they are definitely not going to Duffy's then <laughs> they've got a fantastic yeah. all-in system you want to do the side pole and the rope. Oh, it's fun. I might do a live video next week about Duffy's build up and pull down just to, to get, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 for experience, uh, I, I don't do, uh, build down, build down. <laughs> I remember you used to do the, the wire on Zippos and I remember you put the stakes on the outside. Do you remember? Oh, let's, let's talk about this. Yeah. This is amazing. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and there was this name. What was his name? Tom, to, uh, no, Jane, uh, Robert. What was his name? Tom Robert? No, it wasn't Tom Robert. No, not Tom Robert. I'm talking about the other story, not the Tom Robert story, about Alec. <laughs> <laughs> there was this guy on Zippos because Alex, uh, oh, Alex, Alex. X, X KGB, like one eye, bullet holes through his belly. And everybody was like terrified of him, and you know, oh, oh, oh. and he always used to walk around like it was crazy. And I remember <laughs> one day you put all your stakes out, you boom, boom, and you're putting them in the floor ready to knock in and all this. Let them move your stakes. And then I, I think you said, Talk to me like this one more time, I will kill you like this. And everybody was like, Oh, nobody's ever spoken to Alec like that. So we all looked over on the build-up, and then he came up to you. What did you say? And then I think you've got a stake through it at him, and <laughs> all hell broke loose. It was fantastic. So maybe, maybe it's better that you don't do build up a pull down. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I no, mean, you've great. you've got a chance to do two hundred and ninety sheets of wood if you wanted to. I mean, that's that's nice. But anyway. <laughs> but, but yeah, but no. Like, I think we should have a conversation about this thing about artists doing build up and pull down in the next episodes, you know. Mm. And, you know get, get, get some circus director, in it, you know, like let's get the office inside and their opinion <laughs> of, of the value of the artist. <laughs> will, like I said, will do build up and pull down, HGV. By the way, I do a 20 minute juggling act, and that's the last. Uh, no, I know it's tricky for everybody that doesn't know in England. Um, well, not just in England anymore, quite a few places now. In Ireland, all right. <laughs> the you don't just do your act, you do like I don't know, ticketing, billing, everything, you know, in a lot of shows and stuff. And it is quite hard. I mean, look, you know, that, that... one big example that's why from, from your mistakes. I have look. That's what happened when you do the Kim polls. That's that's why you don't do it. So there you go. That's exactly. your... <laughs> so let's talk about say, one. I always say, why well, you don't? I have a friend. He's <laughs> not complete anymore because of I, have photo, I have a photo. I have a photo. One minute. I find it. I find it. <laughs> He's not complete anymore because he used to help in the tent. So. <laughs> Well, there that's, we go. Nice let's uh, let's talk about Monte Carlo because you did it. You won. Uh, for everybody that doesn't know on the Bippo page or when I add this on YouTube later and Twitter and all that, um, Monte Carlo Circus Festival is the biggest. There's lots of circus festivals in the world and there's some actually bigger, isn't there, like size-wise. Mm -hmm. But uh, Monte Carlo, I, I'd say, is the most prestigious like well, circus. It, 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 it's like the, the one you know from many yeah. like 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 the oscars you know you got the oscars yeah. you got Germany, there's lots you know, of the... there's lots of circus festivals like there's the latin one there's one in hungary that there's a few that's like 
size wise bigger but that one is the one like you say like the oscars and things like that so mm -hmm. tell me the story like who approached who did you did you apply did you get approached when did you get approached were you nervous like what, what happened when did you get approached was it like a year before two years before what what happened um well obviously i've always been going to to monaco to check out you know it's always so many years you know like obviously that is the the topic as we talk as we as we were young yeah, yeah. Always had the Monaco in your head, don't you? One day the dream, you know, one day. And then about two years before I did the festival, a year and a half, basically, to be honest, about a year and a half, uh, the director from the artistic director came to watch the show when I was in Germany. And um, he also seen me work so many times before in other festivals. Yeah. Never said nothing, never like, oh, yeah, okay, like, hello, hello, you know, it's quite a difficult, uh, you know, what to say in that moment. Hello, you know, you know. Yeah. So you don't, you don't want to go. Hi, I drive HGV. But you don't. Want to... <laughs> no, we, we don't move. We do one day stand. <laughs> like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> no, but anyway, at the end, like, um, he's seen it work many times before, and I remember even one time asking him years ago, like. So, you know, any chance for Monte Carlo one day? And he remember he was looking at me going, uh, yes, we have to see. But, you know, it's uh, still a long wait process, you know, yeah, maybe yeah. not the next four years. Maybe I can tell you something. And I was just like, four years? Like, you know, I cannot think mm -hmm. like they tell like you think the thing they tell you like, oh, yeah, yeah. In four years time, we'll talk again, you know. Just to make you go away. So. Yeah. Literally, literally was like that. And four years later, to be honest, he came to see the show in Germany. And I, everyone was like, oh, he, the guy is there from this. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. He's seen me so many times. You know, it's not going to, same story, you know. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. nothing going to happen. And then the day after, uh, he actually called the circus director where I was working. And he said to him, oh, can you? get the telephone number of Henry because I want to speak to him. Wow. So the director came to me, oh, Henry, look, at the pills call and, you know, he want you to call. I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. I was like, cool, you know, like, okay. I, you know, when you're like, what to yeah. say, you know. Then I didn't call him for like two days. Two days later, he called back again the circus in Germany and said, well, Henry hasn't called me. Please give him my email or, or give this. And, and the director came again. They told you, so I was like, oh, fuck. So there, there, yeah, there yeah, is yeah. something something interesting. Maybe it is something, you know. Then finally, I didn't even call because I didn't feel comfortable just to be like, oh, hi, yeah, they told me to call, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I wrote an email. So like, oh, hi, we saw you on the show the other day, blah, blah, blah. And then he replied, great, nice to see you, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're just wondering if you are, um, if you, I remember like this, if you have, um, if you have time and if you are interested, to do Monte Carlo 2020. So I was like, um, yeah, I think I have time. <laughs> yeah, you try and you try and be cool, but you're inside yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to. Yeah, it's literally like that. So yeah, I think I have time. I think I'm uh, I'm free for those dates. <laughs> uh -huh. And then he okay, we'll talk about it. And then he I go okay, cool. And then he emailed me again one more time, like the secretary emailed me after, like, you know, we want you to do the clowning, blah, 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 blah. And then after, he goes, oh, we speak in Monaco. You're going to come to Monaco this year? I said, yeah, I think I will come over. So, okay, when you come here, we'll do the contract and we talk. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 you know. Then I went to Monaco, got to speak to him, and then he was like, yeah, okay, we want you to do it. Or 2020, yeah. and I was like, oh, okay, okay, in the office, you know, like really like shitting myself in there, like thinking, let's play cool, you know, let's be cool about it, you know, it's just like, I cannot uh, get, get myself, um, get myself, you know, in a, in a tangle here, you know? Yeah. So anyway, at the end, he would um, tell me, yeah, to do the comedy, blah, 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 and then he goes, oh, do you still do the high wire? And I said, well, I haven't done it for two years now, two, three years. But they say, yeah, so you did it with your dad and your brother. I say, yeah, yeah, we did it. Like, oh, like we did in Budapest and, and other festivals. He's seen me before. And I say, yeah, yeah, we still do it and all that. Oh, great. So it would be nice if you can get your brothers and your family to do it as well. So it was like, okay, let's, let's, um, cool. Yeah, fine. Yeah, we sign, whatever. 
And then that's how it went, just like that. That's good, man. And then, and then two years later, well, nearly two years later, I was there. It's good. It's good. It's a, unbelievable, really. I really wanted to come and like watch and stuff because, like, like I say on Zippo's, that is literally all we used to say. I remember I used to say, "Oh, one time." To be honest, I was a bit bored mm. with clowning, but I remember I always used to say, "One, one day I'm going to do my own show and take it into theaters." And you always used to say Monte Carlo, and you did it, man. And it, it, I was like a, a proud friend, like, "Oh, Henry's doing Monte Carlo, yeah." But it was good. Did you get nervous? Like, were you nervous? Because it's the typical thing. Like, I don't know whether you do either because we never really spoke about it. But I know when circus, not really when circus people come and watch, because to be honest, I don't really care, to be honest, anymore. But people that I know that come from circus, I do get a bit, even still now, like 22 years later, I'm like, oh, oh there's a show in or, you know, anything. Um but I used to, it used to really affect me, but now it doesn't really. But in Monte Carlo, like, did it affect you? Did you get nervous? Were you like excited or what? Did you, you must have got nervous. I'd be terrified. Uh, to be honest, in my career and all that, I mean, I had a lot of times before that I would get nervous. Obviously, when circus people come, you know, the same like everybody else, you get nervous and, you know, you feel a little bit uh, shy, you know. Yeah, yeah. That. Obviously, there, everybody. Everyone is from circus who wants to come to see. Everyone does come, everybody. Yeah. And yeah, I got so nervous, man. I was, I have never been so nervous in my life. Like, oh. I could not move my lips. I was so dry, like my mouth. Was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, that cold sweat that you get, you know? So, yeah. And I you start to, like, I don't know about you, but when I get nervous, I start to think, or maybe it's not funny, and you start thinking about the gags, and that you start thinking like, could I change something? It's not funny, and I, that's mm. how I get. I start like over analyzing everything in my head, and it's just strange. But well, it literally is like that. And and but the thing is that in that moment there, you know that you cannot really change something. It's too late. Kind of yeah. thing. It's not like you're in a normal show and you're doing it. Okay, I'll do it better. Or you know, there it's just from the beginning. Always it's like. It's just like you have to do it perfect. And yeah. Even if your brains think, you cannot make it let your brain think like, oh, yeah, I'll change. I'll change this now. But it's too late. You know, like you cannot. So and it was, I'll carry on. Go on. No, I said like there was like the moment when I went in the first gag. I was like, OK, I was just going to go in. And, you know, I was there. I was just about to go in. The, I was the second, the second act. So. First act, stunt innovation with this, this uh, trampoline act, you know, it was amazing. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you know, I've done this in my head. I've done this a hundred times, thousands of times. I'm just, I got a full house. That's all I need. Full house. Enjoy yeah. it, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, just, why? I was thinking, talking to myself before. I was like, you know, having a whole, a whole conversation with myself. They're like, don't worry, you know, just relax. You know, it's just, you've done it before. It's just, you're here now. Just enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. the moment. So I was like, no, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it, you know? Yeah. You know what? Enjoying it. No, you're not yeah. enjoying it. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. I'm in Monte Carlo. Shut yeah. up. You know, I'm gonna do this sort of thing. So I remember it. spotlight comes on right from the front, starts the music, like okay. Obviously, get people clapping. Oh, you got like four thousand, five thousand people. I remember how much you know, so like oh. so first gag, I did the strip gag with the box. Yeah, yeah. So I come out like, yeah, you know, I'm I meant to go around halfway and go inside the ring. Boxes there, they tell me go and pick up the, your surprise, whatever. So I come out like that, like, yeah, yeah. I see the Duffy boys, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Tom there, Jamie with a little uh, t shirt of me wearing wearing his t shirt thing. <laughs> no, Jamie's always <laughs> Captain America, it's always Captain America, but yeah, carry on. <laughs> he was like, yeah, a little flag, and you know. <laughs> so I keep going, and I'm about to go inside to go in. But the corner of my eye, I see the box is not even up. Oh, so you're like, you're like, fuck, yeah, I keep going this way. I keep going around, <laughs> around, and the box, and they see, then I see all the, the crew trying to run around. Like, I knew something went wrong. So I keep going around, around, and I got to go to this, in, to this, to the, to the, to the, to the um, ring, and the, um, 
artistic director comes and goes, go around one more time, go around. I was like, huh? I was like, in that moment, man, in that moment, for like that second, I just thought, fuck it, I'm just going to go out, go and cry mm-hmm. underneath the feet. Yeah. That's it. Leave it. Yeah. You know, forget about it. That's it. You fucked it up. Go yeah. on. Go yeah, home. Yeah. Just cry. Yeah. And I was doing it like that. And I, the people keep going, like, you know, eh. and then it was kind of like, I could see that they were, they were not managing to do it. And there was nothing, that was the, you know, you have the, that's the whole gag, you know. Yeah, you have to have that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then in my head, I was thinking, okay, should I just yeah. pick up four chairs and do four chairs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In my head, I was thinking, wait a minute, but you cannot do that here. Everyone knows that. And not then, in Monte oh, Carlo, yeah. Do popcorn and just do like a little bit something longer. It kind of the popcorn, you know, all these insects yeah. going to me like, like they keep going around one more time, arrive, and then so the second time I'm going around the ring like an idiot. And this is like your first gag, your first, you know, this is you. This is like yeah, yeah, yeah. What you made of. And then finally they've managed to fix it. And the ring master she was quite good. And he goes, Henry, why you keep going around and around? Just come in. I got a surprise for you. I was like, uh. okay. Okay, you are like, oh, the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You know, and obviously, I already, you already panic when you work in Monte Carlo with the audience because yeah. the biggest problem you have there in Monte Carlo that I've seen with many clowns is the um, is the uh, working with the audience. Yeah. Because they always don't want to come out or they're mm-hmm. really sure or they know, you know, the, I see a lot of amazing clowns like really struggle and, you know, kill the whole act. Yeah. And a lot of them, a lot of them have seen everything as well. Like a lot of them, so, like you, like you say, if you try to do the four stools there, oh my god! They, yeah, you know, yeah, you might be like, uh, yeah, well done, he did something, but what the fuck, really? Yeah, you know? bye. Yeah. Yeah, you get a so poster. That is, that's it. That's all you get is a poster. That's all I. And that second, you know, really, I just thought everything like, oh, I say, all twenty years of eating. I'm all fingers with Bipo gone down the drain, <laughs> basically. Right, we've got but, ten minutes. With ten minutes left, so we're going to put uh, "Ask Henry Anything." Um, basically, comment any uh, questions you've got, guys. Um, anything you've got for Henry, um, and then we'll try and answer a few for ten. We've this is only going to be like forty-five minutes, but who cares? We've talked for an hour and fifteen. It's better for YouTube because it gets your hours up. It's quite good, but. Uh, <laughs> So, like now, sat sat now. Where would you in your head? Where would you want to work that you haven't yet? Like, is there any shows that you've seen or heard about, um, and you've really liked the idea of, or look of, or gone and watched and go, what? I'd, I'd love to. Where's your like your sort of? I don't know. Not not like a aspire to go there. It doesn't have to be a, a big thing. Like, but where would you want to work? Like, if you haven't, Circuit Stream opens May seventeen, and that's where you're going to see me. <laughs> Circus Extreme. Yeah, that's that's bit. I, I, to be honest, I went and watched Extreme, and I thought it was fantastic. I, I, to be honest, it's really good. You know, he and England. You know, the standard of it, and it's just. It is really cool, uh, the whole show, you know, like, and as well, you know, here we have got 24 hour lights and, you know, yeah. we'll build up, pull down and don't need to do uh, it. I remember things. I watched you on, I think it was Berlin in Manchester and the same thing in Monte Carlo basically happened. Do you remember the wheel got stuck in the roof? Do you remember that? And I yeah, was seven, watching. Seven minutes I, later. I, I was watching and there was all these people with the winch controls and you were doing your hat, whatever, and you're clapping and I saw you and you went to go in the ring and the wheel is like all messed up at the side with everybody shouting, pushing the buttons and it's all going back up and then then it's going back up but going like this, the double wheel and it's all... And I remember you looking around like, oh, are you? I was like, oh no, because I, I, because being a clown, like you, you know that you're just like, oh my god. But, but you know, like that's your first gag as well, you know. And once you're going around for seven, it was seven minutes. It was, I think, I believe it was. I think something Anthony like that. seven minutes, something like that. 
and it was just like <laughs> and the thing is it's a wheel so you can't really go in the ring and do anything you, you, you had to stay wheel. Yeah, like, you had to stay out because there was 50 people and Danja running around and bloody, you know, the, all the remotes and the... But yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I remember it very good. Yeah. One of my best experiences I had. <laughs> so where would you want to work, like, that you've seen? Like, would you... It doesn't have to be circus either. Where would you, like, a pet love, like, that you sort of go, oh, I'd love to work there? So... Um... Mm, I would like to try something different, like obviously, like, like you know, in China they got a lot of big shows going on at the moment there, like big productions, you know, theater yeah. style, you know, big things. And Russia, to be honest, I'm quite quite tentative as well. Like I seen Nikulin, all those shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do amazing productions, and you know, I I think it's one of the places I, right now. I think, oh, you know what? I would like to do a nice little tour, do just to do it, you know, those places, you know. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. Uh, Sophie's, uh, I definitely I want to be part of uh, Jamie and Tom crew one day if they give me the opportunity. Yeah. By the way, we keep we keep referencing the Duffies. For those of you who don't know, uh, Tom and Jamie Duffy in the comments, they run uh, Duffy Circus in Ireland. A lovely show. Lovely, lovely show. Um, Andrew Lewis mm -hmm. just put, I'm sure he would love to work in Liverpool at Bippo Circus Spectacular. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, of course. I will. I will be part of Bipo's show anytime. Come on up. Just call Come me. On. Nikolai's asking. I, I have HPV. HGV. <laughs> You're booked. That's it. Uh, Nikolai's asking: <laughs> Would Henry ever think about? Uh, juggling uh, to his gag. Would you have you ever thought about doing anything with juggling with clowning? Mm, well, it's always a good thing to do juggling if you you know to to get into yourself into a gag. It's always good to put a bit of juggling in there, you know. Yeah. But just to do a gag just with juggling, it's quite difficult to do a whole funny sketch okay. about juggling, you know. So, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's always good. You can always put something in to juggle, you know. It's always. You know, people like any any time. Bit of tumbling is always good. Bit of handstands. Tumbling is good, yeah. It's yeah. good to be. That's another thing. Basically, you used to say to me as well, like you should do an act. Remember, we did uh, practice the table act and things like that. That was because of you, because you were like, yeah. man, you need an act because then you can go abroad and you don't have to talk. Because I remember I used to talk all the time, and then I went to the hippodrome and I didn't talk, and it was quite cool. Um, but then since then, I've talked all the. But that you and that table act i ended up doing for prince charles which was uh, yeah. amazing you know that was fantastic um nigel mail just put you both need to work the tower circus that would be very nice very difficult mm. to get in right now but uh, yeah, but, but we are trying we're sending over some <laughs> little little packets to put in yeah. somebody's drink but <laughs> no, I'd love to work. You worked in the Hippodrome, no? You the I Hippodrome. Worked in the Hippodrome, yeah, yeah. I did a couple of times, so yeah, it was, it's it's great. Um, but here in England, yeah, it's only you got the Blackpool and the Hippodrome, don't you? That mm. they are the same. So, Gifford, Gifford yeah. is nice. Gifford's is lovely. Gifford is very nice. I, I saw the show. I really enjoy it. Tweedy. It's really good. Tweedy, really good clown. I really like him. Fantastic. He's, he's, he's really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really yeah, good. Enjoy, enjoy his comedy. So what's next for you, Circus Extreme? Is that touring all year or? Well, if we keep our fingers crossed. We should start on 17th of May and um, we keep till the end of October if everything goes down fine. Maybe first week of November, who knows? Or maybe they should show us down after a week, who knows? You know, so. But it's that's the plan. That's, that's the plan at the moment. Then from there, I'm off to Germany oh, yeah. and do the Christmas shows there. I think I got a gala in France before that. So that is the plan till till Christmas, till January. Then that's the plan till now. That's cool, man. Well, thank you so much for coming on. It was only going to be 45 minutes, but who cares? We've but done an know, hour and a half. You know, you know how it is when you're having a good time. Time flies. It's good. Um, for those of you who haven't seen Henry, uh, look him up on YouTube. He's fantastic. I did have videos but we've, we've been far too long now. Um, but, yeah, look him up on YouTube. Go and watch Circus Extreme. 
um corey roberts just put some clapping hands yeah i mean uh like this video and share this video guys and also yeah if circus extreme is in your area it i know i said this about giffords but it is it is the same level like i would travel to go and watch giffords and i travel to go and watch extreme i mean mainly because my my mates in it but um <laughs> no but it's a good show it's got the fmx is it the same show as the other year yeah most mostly yeah most ne nearly the same yeah little bits will change but not but the, the same style of the show will be yeah so there's like for those of you who haven't seen extreme there's the globe of death there's a double wheel very good double wheel um they're not irish uh, but it is a good good double wheel um <laughs> uh, it's got fmx where the bikes jump over the globe and it is huge as well and it's nice here with the juggling has laura miller has oh, laura miller, yeah laura miller's fantastic like, my wife will be working also her slack wire as well oh, brilliant. and uh, who else gonna be there he wasn't working last last time i saw you and i remember <laughs> saying i remember saying like why why is your wife not? oh i don't know she's got a sore hand uh, and then we went to your your caravan and she was talking about dyeing her hair with henna and in the car on the way home chelsea was like you don't dye your hair with henna just randomly that's normally what you do when you're pregnant like what you know what, <laughs> what they're talking about and then a week later it's like oh i'm pregnant i was like ah there you go that all makes sense yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But it'd be good to come back and watch um, watch you. I think I, I think I'll be able to as well because I don't. I'm working in Liverpool uh, for those few weeks, but then in between May, June, and July, I've got like three weeks off, so I'm going to come and see it. Um, Nigel Mail said, "Excellent interview. Keep up the good work. Hey, no HCB and build up at Blackpool Tower." Oh yeah, well, yeah, definitely. But because there's no HCV and no build-up, you get offered one pound fifty and an ice cream <laughs> on the seafront. Uh, anyway, joking. I love the tower. Um, Douglas Patterson says, "Sorry, go on." Like, no, comments. No. Uh, Douglas Patterson says, "It's been great to watch you guys." He's all the way up in Scotland. Um, Karen Hewitt said, "Is that the one that was in Bristol not long ago?" Yeah, I think Extreme went to Bristol, didn't it? Extreme. Oh, yeah, but not this year. I mean, I don't know if it did this year, no. Ah, uh, so it might have been it someone else. Before. He was yeah. Berlin, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe he saw it or when he was in Bristol. Or something. Uh, yeah, it's probably Tony. Look out for it. It's a massive, massive bright red tent, and the social media and everything that they do go on Instagram, uh, Circus Extreme. They're really, really good on it. I think, does Anthony do the Instagram? Because I've had a few Absolutely. random yeah. random messages off Instagram from Circus <laughs> Extreme, and like I could share these, and <laughs> it could all go wrong. Sort of thing. Um, uh, Corey That's Robertson, easy. it's been great. Hope to see you both this year. Yeah, Corey, he's the guy. Corey does like videos and stuff. He does. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That's, yeah, he has done. Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, he's a good. He's very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't realize how young he was, and then. He turned up at Butlins, and I was like, "Really? It's you that produces these?" Oh, yeah, Corey, you're doing a really good job. Um, Abby Grimmer put "Best Clown Ever." You're going to make his head explode. Uh, Andrew Lewis put "This has been a brilliant chat, uh, live chat. Well done, both of you. You're going to have to cut your hair, man. Your spikes are going to be like four meters long. <laughs> Too long. I got a nice picture of you here. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you though. Yeah, go on. Who cares? Really? Yeah, why not? It's a tattoo involved with it. A tattoo? Yeah, go on. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I can do <with> that. <laughs> Well, there we go. That's that's this is going to be the last podcast I do now. <laughs> well, for for those of you who don't know, I have got my clown name tattooed on my backside, and that was a bet that I had with somebody that I lost. And I don't know why Henry has a picture. <laughs> Where did you get that from? That's crazy. From your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> oh. Paul Tandy put cracking picture. Yeah, it really was. It's a good job I uh, I was careful that day. 
Um, yeah, Nigel Mayo put oh, candles. Oh, oh. I got Sorry. one of, of, of you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Go on, who cares? I got one of your ginger lion. I can Go show on. you. <laughs> right, don't get, don't get excited. No, I'm worried. That's, I don't know. It should be. It should be. <laughs> No, nah, so I haven't got a ginger lion. Uh, oh. last you remember that time I got kicked out of your caravan? That was exciting. Well, that happens when you swear. <laughs> yeah, I was round uh, Henry's caravan, and to be honest, I should have moved in. I was round there that much. And uh, <laughs> Henry's partner at the time, um, I think, started to realize that I was around there a bit too much. Like four in the morning, and then nine o'clock when we'd wake up. <laughs> Hey man, what are you doing? Come and have an almond finger. <laughs> We'd just be sat there, like. and then you had grandparents visiting, and you—I remember you sat. Uh, you had all the tables set up with tea. Uh, there were, actually, that, wasn't grand, there was there were all the couple that we met in Egypt in one of our travels. <laughs> it's all a very posh English couple. <laughs> And I remember yeah, drinking our tea. I tea. <laughs> you all had tea, and uh, I think you even had was, classic FM on in the right, background, like you always did. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, I came round, and Henry, <laughs> yeah, and Henry was like, "Come over, come over, come over, come over," and I was like, "You've got guests. I don't care, man. Come over." And then we sat there, and Becky was like, even looking at you, like, really? He's over, he's over here. I was a teenager, by the way, not now, not last week. It wasn't last week. Uh, and uh, I swore, and <laughs> she didn't talk to me for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a classical moment, like you're having, oh, you're a uh, nice uh, tea or whatever we were having there. And there was a moment of quietness, and then for some reason, People just went, that thing can't <laughs> <laughs> And that get was out. it. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> and I think I like, I think I even drank my tea and put my almond finger in my mouth. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she didn't talk to me for two weeks. And then I remember you came in the ring doors. We went, we saw each other at showtime and you're like, man. You really upset her, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and at the time, now I would probably be like, yeah. But at the time, I was like, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, there were good times, man. Really good times. And like, yeah, I've got yeah. a lot to thank you for, man. Seriously. Um, and one of the one of the main things is thank you for coming on this. Um, it's been great. Yeah, thank you for the invitation, man. Keep doing the great job you keep doing. And I can't wait to see you. Hopefully, get to see you in uh, your pantomimes and your show. Yeah. That'd be good. So. It'd be good for you to come up and see it because um, last time you saw me with a twelve people in, and, and you know, if you come and see pantomime, whoo, I'd, I'd be, I'd wear these, you know, I wear these especially. So you, yeah. you should do. You should do. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Well, there we go. Thank you so much, Henry. You've been absolutely amazing. Guys, give us some likes for Henry. Tap like right now. Give us some shares. Uh, like I say, if you see Circus Extreme um, with the posters, be careful because some of the posters... It... <laughs> That's another tattoo of mine. <laughs> with likes. Yeah, give us some likes. That's what I should do. Um, yeah, go and see Circus Extreme. Careful because there's a poster that looks like Henry, but it's not. Is is Berlin? That's Berlin. Um, go and see Circus. Go and see Circus Extreme. It's, it'll be really well worth it. Thank you, Henry. Man, good to see you. Thank you. I go to my family now. My poor kid is crying already, waiting for his daddy. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Well, there we go. That was Henry. Oh, hang on. Let me keep the guest, and I will have a chat to you all. Um, Nigel Mail, awesome. Thank you both. Clappy. Yeah, I mean that was great, wasn't it? An hour and thirty. 34 it was only going to be four minutes guys what um do us a favor right now uh like and share this video um comment who you want on next so we get the duffy brothers on next um i was gonna i was gonna um yeah comment now who you want on next week it can be circus theater there's been a few magicians that have 
uh, message saying they want to come on. There's been Bobo Roberts who said he wanted to come on. Uh, Karen Hewitt, great interview. Thank you very much. Um, comment who you want on next week, guys, while I'm still here for a minute. Andrew Lewis, brilliant. Andrew, comment who you want next week. Um, I was going to do like a... Because all the shows are opening again on May the 17th, I remember seeing you both in 2007, Kane Suffers. Kane, where have you gone, mate? I haven't heard from you or seen you in years. But good to see you. Yeah, it was 2007, me and Henry um, met. And it's basically because of him I carried on doing my career. Doing my career, that sounds ridiculous. I can't speak English now. It's because of him I carried on on my quest to be a clown. Um, pardon me. Yeah, so because all the shows are going to open on May the 17th, because like John Lawson's has already got all their people that um, are, that they know they're booked that are going on, I was going to get, because we need to get little Ross on, my mate Ross Shirley, most of you who follow me know who Ross is, I was going to get Ross on Attila, uh, try and get Pip on all together, uh, that would be quite cool, so we can all chat about what ideas and chat about, you know, and I mean it's, they're the people that are going to go on, on the show together. Um, I was going to try and get people from Blackpool on, maybe. I was going to try and get people from the Hippodrome on. Um, the Duffy Brothers or Jason and Gracie. Yeah, there we go. I could get Mondeo on. I could get Petra to get all the gang up together. Comment now. Um, cause I'm going to go off because we have done an hour and 35. Wow. My baby's probably crying now as well. Um, yeah, comment who you want on next week. Um and yeah, we're going to try and do it. I didn't do it last week because I did have a cough and I was very, very worried because um, of the situation and all of that. And I, I was going to do a, a class at Walkie Hole, um, a comedy class, and I woke up like... <coughs> <coughs> and I thought, this isn't wise to go and teach children comedy when I'm there coughing my guts up. Tom Duffy said splat. <laughs> oh... So, uh, the Duffy boys are fantastic. They're the funniest people that I had. I laughed more that Halloween than I have done most of the year last year, to be honest. It was a very, very good time. Uh, Karen Hewitt said, Andrea from Gandhi's. I could probably try. Um, Andrew Lewis said, Norman Barrett. I have reached out to Norman Barrett. By the way, for April's Fools, I put Nicolas Cage is the guest on this. And I have met him, and he did come to Wookiee Hall. And to try and, because everyone's like, April Fool's instantly, and kind of ruined it all. Um, I have reached out and messaged two of his representatives, his agents and stuff, to see if he'd come on by saying, we met each other at Wookiee Hole. Um, would you be able to come on and have a chat? And, and let's see what happens with that. I mean, Nicholas Cage, that'd be crazy. But it's just kind of for my personal thing to go, see, April Fool. Uh. Um, Evo put next, you could have Charlie Crowley Jr. That is very, that is a great idea. I love Charlie Crowley Jr. He's absolutely brilliant. Um, Petra Jackson, please. Petra Jackson, uh, you probably have watched this. Nigel Mail said, get Norman. What, in general, in life? What, travel up the... M6 to go and get him. Um, yeah, Norman would be fantastic. I'd, I'll probably message Guy to see if uh, to see if he'd do it. Guy is son, the illusionist. I've got a few magicians, to be honest, um, that I could try and reach out and get on. I was going to get my friend's Matrix illusions on or Amethyst or other people. But, yeah, that'd be good. Norman and Charlie, yeah, just go knock his door not far from us. Go on, then. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Uh, it's been lovely. Great speaking to Henry. He's a really, really good friend, close friend. Um, and he's always been an ear to talk to. I mean, we don't talk every day, but when we do talk, it's for hours. And it, it's he's one of those people that he, when you first start out in the circus, it's very difficult um, to get anywhere. And it's especially when you're a teenager like I was and, and kind of fed up with everything. But he was one of these, come on, man, just do it, man. And he has that attitude about a lot of things. And, I mean, it did really kick my butt to go on and do it. Um, thank you so much, guys. Alan Ellis, great, been great watching you, Daddy. Yeah, I've got to go because it's my turn for the bottle feed. Um, give us this video some likes. Share this video, guys. Comment who you want on next, and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, click a button.